Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to get a basic setup for Java development running with Emacs and LSP Java. Short disclaimer up front, I'm not a Java developer and I'm just going to show you a very basic setup to get you up and running. Uh, we're going to use the language server, which is what LSP basically stands for. It stands for language server protocol. And we're going to use the Eclipse JDT language server. So first things first, first we have to get the language server, of course. Uh, you can get it under projects.eclipse.org slash projects slash Eclipse JDT LS. I'm just going to post the link in the description. And as you can see, here is like an overview, downloads, etc. Of course, we want to download the language server. Um, I basically went for a snapshot build. So let's click on that and it should load maybe it does oh there we go so as you can see there are a ton of different versions uh, let's just go to the bottom and i basically went for version 1.3 and yeah you just download the tar.jc uh, gz sorry and extract it so now that you have unzipped the language server, we are done with that part. Of course, you will need a Java SDK, but I'm going to assume that you already have one if you want to start developing Java. So we can basically just go to Emacs and start setting up LSP mode and uh, getting all the packages. So let's switch over to Emacs. Um, first of all, we have to download or get the LSP Java package and we're going to get it from Melpa and you will need this line in your .emacs file which basically uh, adds the Melpa package archive to your um, list and then we can hit meta x and go and enter list packages and as soon as you hit enter you'll see it takes a bit to load all of the packages and as you can see there are a ton of packages for Emacs but what we are looking for is LSP Java and when we're not looking for LSP Java comp we are looking for LSP Java of course I already have downloaded it so you don't have to wait but what you can do is you just click the link and for me there is a delete button for you there's going to be an install button so we just get the package and next, next thing we need is Java snippet, which is uh, just on top here. So basically the same thing. You just uh, click on it, install it, and that's basically all we need. So after I've downloaded uh, new packages, I usually go for a restart of Emacs. But of course, um, since I already have the packages, I don't really need to do that. So now that we have the packages, we can start enabling them. And we just have to set a few a few tiny things. Um, what we're going to do is we hit meta x and we enter customize group, which basically allows you to go into the settings for any package that you have and we're just going to enter LSP Java. So now that we are in the Java settings, we have to set the path to the language server. So what we are going to look for is, there it is, is the key LSP Java server install dir, which is the installation directory of your Java language server. And what that means is this is the folder that you unzipped your Eclipse JDT LS server in. So you just have to enter the path to your uh, root folder where you unzipped your Eclipse JDT LS server. And that's basically all you have to do. So now that we've done that, the next thing that we have to do is um, set the directory to your Java executable. Um, where is it? Let's have a look. J 
Java, 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 Java. There it is. Path to the Java executable, which is called LSP Java, Java path. And as you can see, it's basically the java.exe in your uh, Java SDK or in your JDK folder, in the binary folder. And that's all we have to do. That's all the setups that we have to do. So we set the language server, we set the java.exe, and now we only have to quickly modify the .emacs file and we're good to go. So as I said, we just have to modify uh, the .emacs file. You can find the .emacs file in your user app data roaming.emacs. And I get a ton of warnings, of course, because I have the language server already on. And this is basically what, what we have to do next. What we have to do next is we have to activate LSP mode. And we can do that by simply adding these two lines to our .emacs file, which is require LSP mode, add hook, proc mode, hook, and LSP. And after we have added these two lines, we can restart Emacs again. Of course, I'm not going to do that because I've already uh, already done my setup. And after you've restarted Emacs, it should be active so that when you open a .java file, uh, of course, I have nothing prepared. So let's see. Uh, there we go. Java. I have a little hello world uh, dot java prepared and as you can see it should say lsp jd tls which is the language server protocol this is your language server this is the process id and as you can see at the top we also have these nice little icons and this is just a very simple hello world program of course i told you before i'm not a java developer myself but as you can see, as soon as I enter system, we get this nice little things uh, like the code completion that you're used from uh, used to from your IDE. And as soon as I open the bracket, you can see down here we have a, a description, just your standard IDE stuff. I also I can jump to. Um, Let's see, let's go for something like that. Uh, wait a second, what do I want to do? Let's do this. And A is B plus C. That should work. And now I should be able, yeah, as you can see, I should be able to jump to the declaration. So if I hit uh, meta and dot, uh, it's going to jump to the declaration of, in this case, of your variable. But I can also go to system and hit meta dot. And as you can see, I'm jumping to the cache Java Lang system and I get the um, the class that I, the base class, the base class uh, declaration. And if I hit meta and semicolon again, or it's colon, then I just get back to where I was. So yeah, that's basically everything um, that I want to show you. Just a quick little fast setup to get you started. Just get the language server running. And of course, there are a ton of customizations that you can do. But as I said before, I'm not a Java developer, but I hope uh, it helps you out in spite of that. Uh, have a nice day.